In the Marlborough Sounds of New Zealand, mussel farmers have been using the long line method of cultivation since the 1970s. Donaghy's Industries Limited, having a long association with the sea, has been involved here from the start, developing, manufacturing and testing new types of rope which have been accepted as standards for the industry. With over 500 farms in this major mussel growing region, Donaghy's supplies ropes to a wide range of customers. The use of Donaghy's mussel rope has provided an excellent environment for growing and harvesting large quantities of green shell mussels. Considerable innovation and refinement has taken place in the development of this rope and the way it is used. Since its inception, longline mussel farming has relied on the rope used to incubate the young mussels to be free from twisting. The way it hangs is all important. The freer the rope hangs, the higher the yield at harvesting time. Twisted rope stunts mussel growth and can even prevent some mussels from growing at all. Donaghy's has been a leader in mussel rope development and manufacture for more than two decades. Manufactured from extruded polypropylene, Donaghy's mussel farming rope is UV stabilised for weather extremes and comes in distinctive styles. Super Christmas tree, aqua loop, weighted Christmas tree, mussel lashing, aqua steel. But even the most sophisticated mussel rope needs to be prepared correctly prior to seeding. The correct uncoiling of the new rope coil is vital and helps apply the best hanging bias when the rope is in the water. Using a suitable bagging method assists this bias, especially as additional coils are connected while filling the rope bags. This process alleviates a lot of twisting that can occur during the seeding process. Young mussels, spat, are lifted from nursery lines after about three to six months of growth then seeded on thicker and longer cultivation rope. If this rope is correctly biased, that is, uncoiled and bagged properly, the seeding can be more effective and efficient and produce a high yield of mature mussels. After seeding and covering with biodegradable stocking, the loaded rope is placed in the water so it hangs freely. This promotes the production of many more mussels of greater size and quality than a rope that is twisted. As the seeded rope settles and the stocking sleeve finally dissolves, the bias on the rope really comes into play. With quality Donaghy's rope, the loops should look like this, evenly spaced, hanging freely with no twists. Inspection by divers can reveal which lines need special maintenance. In the years that I've been doing this, that there is a definite improvement on the quality of rope that's going into the water. It seems to me um, that a lot of the immediate issues with the new rope is the handling of it, and it's, um, it's important that it's done correctly. The older rope, we are seeing some twisting in it, but that's also improving with the people being aware of of um, the issues that we're facing. Being able to um, handle it properly on shore so that we're not going over the same problems again or even making them worse. After about 12 to 18 months, the well-set and untwisted ropes, which have encouraged a good growing environment, present a great harvest. Good mussel farm management practices always include rope maintenance, the cleaning and detwisting of mussel rope after each use. Detwisting not only removes twists and binds from the rope that occur during its travel through the machines at harvesting time, it also renews most of the ropes as new properties. Good maintenance enables easier handling and ensures long rope life. Ropes maintained properly have survived more than 10 years of hard work. Some of the earliest ropes used in the Marlborough Sounds are Donaghy's. They've proved their worth and are still being used today. Effective farm management practices start with preparation of the new rope. The strong splicing of mainline ropes ensures the structural strength, rigidity and long productive life of mussel farms. This aqua steel I find is a very good product. It has a nice tight lay, splices very well and doesn't unravel like other products and I, I think that this rope is the thing to use for mussel farming and I recommend it to anyone. The advantages of Donaghy's mussel rope are higher surface to length ratio. 
This gives better seeding and more harvested mussels. Recycling of Donaghy's rope has been proven to be easier. Long life. Examples of early rope are still in use. Distinctive styles. All ropes are UV stabilised for protection from harsh weather. And weighted rope has three strands of lead running through its centre to assist in its sinking and hanging vertical properties. Donaghy's Industries Limited supplying muscle farmers with technologically advanced products to meet ever-increasing demands.